So, the first type of attack is UDP flood attack. An attacker sends spoofed UDP packets at a very high packet rate to a remote host on random ports of a target server using a large source IP range. Flooding of UDP packets causes server to repeatedly check for non-existent applications at the ports. Legitimate applications are inaccessible by the system and gives an error reply with an ICMP destination unreachable packet. This attack consumes network resources and available bandwidth, exhausting the network until it goes offline. The next is ICMP flood attack. Network administrators use ICMP primarily for IP operations, troubleshooting and error messaging of undeliverable packets. ICMP flood attack is a type of attack in which attackers send large volumes of ICMP eco request packets to victim system directly or through reflection networks. These packets signal the victim system to reply and the combination of traffic saturates the bandwidth of the victim's network connection, thereby causing it to be overwhelmed and subsequently stop responding to legitimate TCP IP requests. To protect against ICMP flood attack, set a threshold limit which when exceeded invokes the ICMP flood attack protection feature. The next is ping of death attack. In the ping of death attack, an attacker tries to crash, destabilize or freeze the targeted system or service by sending malformed or oversus packets using a simple ping command. For instance, the attacker sends a packet which has a size of 65,538 bytes to the target web server. The size of the packet exceeds the size limit prescribed by the RFC 791 IP which is 65,535 bytes. Therefore, the packet which is attacker sending is 3 bytes more. The reassembly process by the receiving system might cause the system to crash. The next is SYN flood attack. The attacker sends a large number of SYNC requests to a target server that is the victim with the fake source IP addresses. The target machine sends back a SYN act in response to the request and waits for the ACK to complete the session setup. The target machine does not get the response because the source address is fake. SYN flooding takes advantage of a flaw in the way most hosts implement a TCP three-way handshake. When a host receives the SYN from another host, it must keep track of the partially open connection in a listen queue for at least 75 seconds. A malicious host can exploit the small size of the listen queue by sending multiple SYN requests to the host but never replying to the SYN ACK request. The victim's listen queue is quickly filled up. This ability of holding each incomplete connection for 75 seconds can cumulatively be used as a denial of service that is SYN flood attack of denial of service category. And the last is fragmentation attack. These attacks destroy a victim's ability to reassemble the fragmented packets by flooding it with TCP or UDP fragments, resulting in a reduced performance. Attacker sends large number of fragmented, that is 1500 plus byte packets to the target web server with relatively small packet rate. Since the protocol allows the fragmentation, these packets usually pass through the network equipments like routers, firewalls, IDS, IPS, etc., which remain uninspected. Reassembling and inspecting these large fragmented packs consumes excessive resources. Moreover, the content in the packet fragments will be randomized by the attacker, which makes the process to consume more resource and leading the system to crash.